Hello friends, in today's video, I am going to show you how you can make a cool projector at home. You can make it in some few simple steps. Let's see how to make it. In the video description, I have kept the links of all the required materials. Do put it in the comment section in case any link is not working or you face any issues. You might be wondering that how come physics? Let me clear your doubts. This entire project is based on the optics chapter of physics. And this entire project will follow one main formula that is 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u which is a very basic formula of lenses. So now I'll just keep this formula at a side and what I'll do is that uh, in this project we are going to entirely work with convex lenses. So I'll just draw a basic convex lens. I'll place an object in the left side which will form an inverted and enlarged image on the right side provided that the object is placed at a distance greater than the focal length of this convex lens. I'll explain you whatever it meant. Uh, so first just keep the object at a distance of a little big distance about like 10 cm from the lens and it will form an image on the wall. Adjust the lens such that the image becomes very clear. Then uh, measure the distance of the object from the lens and the distance between the lens and the image that will be the image distance or V. Now if you just imagine the center that is the convex lens as the origin that is 0 point so the left side will be negative and right side will be positive so the distance of the object from the lens will be negative and that is why the U which we have will be negative. So now the, we go back to a formula that's 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u and in this we'll put u as minus u since the object distance is negative so our net formula will become 1 by f is 1 by v plus 1 by u so with this formula we can calculate the focal length of our lenses by putting in the value of the object distance and the image distance so we'll easily get the value of the focal length of our lens now we have this semicircular condenser lens in front of our LED light so it will spread the light rays in all directions now we keep a Fresnel lens yes you heard it right a Fresnel lens uh, which is like a thin lens uh, in front of it and we we'll make this distance between the Fresnel lens and the light lens to be the focal length of the Fresnel lens. So what does the principle say? That whenever a light source is there at the focal length from a lens, so all the rays will after passing through the lens will become parallel. And then we'll have a LCD display in between of the two Fresnel lenses. And so the second Fresnel lens will again converge the light rays uh, which will then reach the final lens in the front and which will and the final lens is also a convex lens which will further diverge out the light rays uh, in a way by converging it uh, to give us an image on the screen. So I'll just roughly draw the light rays which will be appearing to be going. So in short you will just get a summary of how this thing works. Now let's move ahead. Basically we are going to make it with cardboard the entire project. You can also try with wood if you like it. So first we'll just make a box of these dimensions. That is our main projector box and this is how it will look. Now we'll just make a hole in the front of radius 4 cm. You can keep it as per your lens size, you fix the lens. Now I'll take a heat sink, attach a cooling file behind it, then a 100 watt LED light and a condenser lens. Now I'll just fix it back over here. And now add a cardboard sheet of these dimensions. Attach our LCD display. Attach a Fresnel lens in front and in back. Then it will look somewhat like this and we'll fix it over here. Believe me, you only have to do these many things to make this high quality projector. Now, let's move ahead. After following the plan, we'll get somewhat like this output. 
where we have this magnifying glass or a convex lens in the front and this is the entire box. What I've done is I've given a 2 pin input which will go to the socket as the power. And now I'll just open it to show you. It's quite simple thing. See firstly there's this lens as I told you and in between we have this main structure. Uh, it has, it's made of cardboard obviously and in front as you can see there's a Fresnel lens attached over here. Uh, I'll go step by step. First there's this Fresnel lens and even on the other side you will find a Fresnel lens as you can see over here. Yeah, There is also a Fresnel lens over here. Now what is then the between? Uh, in card uh, there are LCD displays. So I've just broken up a display and fixed it over here. Above as you can see there's a circuit. This controls the LCD and below I've attached some stands for it to stand properly and inside I've attached this thing so that the light does not pass ahead. Now I'll go on here. We have a fan, heat sink in the between, a 100 watt LED thing and the condenser lens in front. So this is our light. So this was our lighting system. Now behind you will find some of circuits. There are three main circuits. I'll elaborate on them. Uh, and the main power which is a live wire input goes into these circuits. So first I'll go back to our LCD display. So this circuit which is there above this LCD display, there's a wire going through from it. So what I'll do is that, uh, yeah, I'll uh, just tell about it. It has three outputs or basically inputs actually. One is the red wire, white and yellow. Yellow is of course the input, white is not required and red is for the power. Now these are, uh, this light which is there, it, uh, it works on high voltage that's 55 volt. So this circuit over here steps up or converts 12 volt DC to 55 volt DC. These are two AC to DC converters. So they take in AC power and give 12 volt DC output. So one of them I've connected to this step up circuit which will supply the required voltage to the light. And the other one which also gives 12 volt output. What I've done is that I've connected, uh, I've splitted it and converted one part of it to this cooling fan and other part to this LCD via this wire. So our entire thing gets proper power. Uh, and make sure that the distance between the light and this screen is the focal length of the Fresnel lens. I'll tell you in detail about this Fresnel lens. So when you buy it, it comes like this. This is the Fresnel lens. Uh, it's inside this plastic packet. I'll just remove it. Yeah, this is that lens. It's just like a magnifying glass, but it's rectangular in shape. So as you can see it's just like a magnifying glass and it's made of plastic. So that is why I got it quite cheap. As you can see you can easily bend it, fold it. Because it's made of plastic. Okay so now we'll test it. So this is our projector. I have adjusted the lens uh, and the distance over here. So that it's suitable. I have kept the everything proper kept already this is an HDMI to AV converter so this gets AV input this yellow wire is connected over here and these two are connected to the speaker and now this HDMI wire is connected to the computer so with this you can even play using the computer so what I'll do is that I'll just close this it's ready I'll click on the start I'll start the power it's receiving power I'll just show you how bright the light is and in front we can see a view this is when the tube light is on so now I'll just switch off the tube light and as you can see it's very clear now I'll just play the video I'll just take it close so that you'll come to know the clarity. It's very clear. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, as you can see, this is a projector. It's working great. Now, I have just sold a relay cube. Which is a 5 volt laser, which is triggered on by 5 volt DC and it can handle a maximum of 220 volt of AC on And now I'll just show you its size. I'll just keep the camera out down. And now I'll just measure it. So, like, this is my size in comparison with it, and it's quite big. And if I measure it, now I'm it. Now, just hold the transistor of the AC 547. Uh, as I report in, in the about software data inches. and I start making the connection 80 inches is not a small thing and in the circuit diagram now great enough as my television is of 45 inches somewhat so 80 inches is almost very big size okay so now I am going to test it with the setup box so like this is the normal TV working on now this is my setup box so what I'll do is that I'll just keep it like this I'll attach this yellow wire over here other end over here now I have this wire which has these audio converter so I'll just plug them in yeah so these are plugged I'll keep it back like this and this end what I'll do is that I use a speaker and I'll just plug it in over here now basically it's mute so it's not working so I'll turn off this TV yeah now this is the remote just a second yeah. so now I'll start this so as you can see we have a home theater and I'll just switch off the light again so this is the clarity it's very super clear and now the volume even these things are clearly visible that is press and pictures dollar tata sky it's super clear so you have a great home theater system It's great. And even when you watch pictures, it's awesome effect at home. It's working great. Today I am going to ask you a question. My question for today is that which person had invented the world's first projector? Do write the answer in the comment section. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions related to this or any other of my videos, please put it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.